Hello YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I hope this video can help someone else who's actually searching for the different types of paper sizes that can be used with the Epson Sure Color F570 Pro 24 inch desktop sublimation printer. Now, this printer is also capable of printing on smaller size um, sheets in which that's where your auto feed comes in handy. And that's the part where I was having a problem with trying to find um, how to actually use that feature, especially when it came down to the 13 by 19. And I wanted to actually see how it printed, how my images printed out on um, the ASAP paper, because I, don't get me wrong, I love this Epson paper. I mean, very beautiful. And I wanted to see and test to, um, to see how my paper, how my images came out with my with ASAP. So I do have a Sawgrass 500, which I print smaller images on. But like I said, I wanted to learn my Epson Sure Color F570 and see everything that it was capable of doing. So I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and get into showing you how to get everything loaded. And so let's see. Here you open, your little door here. Now I have a 24 inch roll of paper already in here. So the 8.5 by 14 inch paper. Now I have three different sizes here because I don't have an 8.5 by 11. So I have the 8.5 by 14, this is the 11 by 17, and this is the 13 by 19. So what I'm going to do is we are going to install the 11 by 17, which you will bring your tray back. Now, let's make sure that it is inside of both, behind both of those little blue slots, and it is. So, now that that has been inserted, it triggered my printer. So it's letting me know that my auto feed, my auto feed has picked up a sheet of paper, has picked up some paper. So I'm using the general purpose textile and I have to change it to the size paper that I want to use, which I have just installed the legal 8.5 by 14. There we go and press OK and then we will print our image. So let me go and get my computer and I'll be right back. Go back up to paper source where it says roll paper. We're going to click that. As you can see my auto sheet feeder is not lit up. I don't have that option to pick. And the reason being is because my paper size up here is way larger than my auto feed. So what I want to do is click this, find the size paper that I have in my feeder, which is the 8.5 by 14. Now we are going to go back down to the paper source, click that, and here we go. We have access to the auto sheet feeder. So we're going to click that and we're going to leave it on high speed and let's press save. So here we are. My paper size is 8.486 inches by 13.986 inches. So let's click print. 
this is something that always pops up in Photoshop. We're going to proceed. And let's see. I am hooked up to Wi-Fi, so that does take a little while. And then you just hear the machine, the printer. Now keep in mind, I still have my roll paper connected and I am still able to print. So this is the process for printing an 8.5 by 14, also an 11 by 17 inch um, paper. Now, the process changes when you want to print 13 by 19, in which I will also show you how that works as well. nothing to cut and here we are this is an 8.5 by 14 so let's get the next size and like I said it's the same for the 11 um, by 17 um, print, it's the same way. Open this up. And that's where your 11 by 17 is showing right here. That is lined up with that. And that one is lined up with that 11 by 17. So I have to make sure that the paper sits behind those two little blue ridges there. And once it does, this is what pops up on your screen. And this was my last setting, the paper that we just printed. So I want to change that to 11 by 17. Then I will press OK. Then we will go over to the laptop and print our images on this size paper. So I just wanted to show you that it's the same process as the one that we just printed before this. Okay, so moving along to the 13 by 19. This paper does not fit in here whatsoever. So I closed this, tried inserting my paper, it didn't work. Keep in mind my roll, my paper roll was still inserted into the printer because like I said, you can still print with the 8.5 by 11 on up to the 11 by 17 with your paper roll still sitting and still rolled into your printer. It will just bypass that roll. But for the 13 by 19, that option is not available. So what I learned was you have to remove your roll paper. You don't have to necessarily take it out Okay, so now we want to do uh, insert the 13 inch by 19 inch paper. And what we are going to do is go to file. We're gonna click print, go to print settings, go to layout, 
printer settings. We're going to change your paper from, which the previous one was uh, 11 by 17. So we're going to change it to super A3 dash slash B 12.95 by 19.02 inches. We're going to select that. And we're going to make sure sheet is selected for your paper source. So your paper size is going to be super A3 slash B 12.95 by 19.02. Okay. Paper source. Sheet. Don't forget we're not changing anything here unless you want to change your levels. So we're going to save. Now we're going to press print. So I don't have anything in my printer. So what I'm going to do is add my paper. And it's telling me that my paper is out. Cut paper is not loaded. Load cut paper. Printer settings, Super A3 General Purpose Textile. So it's letting me know Super Paper A3. That's what I need to set it to, which I set my settings to Super A3. Don't forget, my roll paper is not connected to my printer. I did remove that. So what I'm going to do is add my 13 by 19 paper. Let's press OK. So now, let's add the paper. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear the beep. That same beep when you first install your roll paper, that's the beep that you want to hear when you install your 13 by 19 paper. Then you go over to your screen and it picked up your paper. So it's letting you know that your cut sheet, which is one sheet, your paper type is general purpose textile, your paper size is super A3. Now, if I press OK, it's loading my paper. And it's going to print that same image. But I don't want to print that image. So what I'm going to do is cancel. Cancel that print. I'm going to cancel that print. Cancel. And it's releasing my paper. Okay, so this video is about sums it up. Just wanting to let you know that besides printing on your roll paper that you can print on sheets of paper, uh, sublimation paper, and it starts at 8.5 by 11 all the way up to 11 by 17 without having to remove your roll paper. You can keep that roll paper fed into your printer. You just put your sheet into your printer and it will bypass your roll paper. Now the rules change when you want to print your 13 by 19. You have to remove your roll paper. Once you remove your roll paper, you will go to your printer settings. And that's by clicking file, print. Then you will go to print settings. Click on print settings. You will click the layout drop dot drop down box you will go into your printer settings and you will select your paper size the paper size for the 13 by 19 is super a3 that slash b 12.95 by 19.2 inches you will pick that then you will also go down to your paper source 
you will make sure that your sheet is checked and then you will click save and make sure that your paper when you insert your paper your 13 by 19 paper that you hear it beep okay so this video is about sums it up just wanting to let you know that besides printing on your roll paper that you can print on sheets of paper uh, sublimation paper and it starts at 8.5 by 11 all the way up to 11 by 17 without having to remove your roll paper you can keep that roll paper fed into your printer you just put your sheet into your printer and it will bypass your roll paper now the rules change when you want to print your 13 by 19 you have to remove your roll paper once you remove your roll paper you will go to your printer settings and that's by clicking file print then you will go to print settings click on print settings you will click the layout drop that drop down box you will go into your printer settings and you will select your paper size the paper size for the 13 by 19 is super a3 that slash b 12.95 by 19.2 inches you will pick that then you will also go down to your paper source you will make sure that your sheet is checked and then you will click save and make sure that your paper when you insert your paper your 13 by 19 paper that you hear it beep that is the only way that the printer will acknowledge that paper Hey, I just want to jump in and let you know that this next slot is to show you the types of paper that is not recommended. Text print DTR, Easy Subly, and Jet Cole TA paper is not recommended for this model printer. So I do not use this text print DT 8.5 by 11 for my Epson printer. No, I do not. I use this with my sawgrass along with my ASA. So and I hope this video can be helpful to others as well. Please hit the like and also click the subscribe button and leave me a few comments if you like. Um, that is greatly appreciated. I'm going to let you go. Thanks. Bye-bye.